हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम इजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माय प्रोजेक्ट वर्क सीरीज बेस्ड ऑन स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डीएओ एंड इट्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड आई हैव टू कंटिन्यू द सेम सीरीज टुडे बिकॉज आई हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड ओनली सिंगल ऑपरेशन विच इज सेव यूजर एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन फॉर फ्यू मोर मैथड्स right so let's have a look at the dao interface so this is my dao interface here user dao and i have done implementation for this single method you can check here so this is the implementation user dao implementation and i'm taking the help from base dao and implementing the dao interface right and this is what the save job we have done in previous video and now i'm going to do the update so here i required a query so this is sql query and i'm going to write here update query update user set name equals to i will pass here new name and now set name will be the new name and this is phone number will be new phone number email address will be new email and then i required here address address column will be this is address you can do like this also set name this is phone number and email address then you can take here address after that what are the columns we have in the table name phone email address login name will not be updated phone number will not be updated from here and uh, role and status okay we can take these two so role you can use here this is role is this is the role and uh, this is your last column is login status so this is login status okay so this is the query so these are the fields we are going to update here name phone number email address address role and login status right so, and uh, we have to update for where this is user id equals to colon user id right so now it's time to bind the value for the named parameter so this is a named parameter i'm going to bind here value through the map map equals to new this is has map i'm using here and bind here value so i'm going to copy the binding from previous just a moment so we'll bind here name phone email address login name we have we don't required here and uh, role is there and status is there okay fine so these are the fields we have to use one more thing we have to bind here which is primary key so this is for user id and user id will be received from the user object so these are the binding so all the value for these named parameter is bind by the map and now you just have to get named parameter jdbc template from parent class and update this so query and map you can pass here done this is update and let me do the small testing so to do the update you required a query this is the update query and uh, these are the values we have bind there and then we have done the update now let me show you how to test this operation 
so go to the test package here so inside this test package I'm going to copy this part I'm going to copy this class save and just paste here so refactor paste and change name this is save this is now update okay I'm going to test here update so user DAO and I'm going to test the update operation fine so things will be same so which user you want to update just check the user from the workbench so I will change the name from Amit to Amit Sinha and I will update his contact uh, his email address Amit dot Sinha and I will change the lo location I will change here Mumbai Maharashtra and this is login name password I'm not going to update here and the other fields will be as it is status will be active role will be one so one role is a admin right so now check this check the user ID for this Amit record just wait just a moment run this okay we have got this Amit here and the initially its name is Amit and uh, email address is Amit at easyon.net and this address is Mumbai I'm going to change the values here I have changed the name here from Amit to Amit Sinha and I updated the email address also and I have updated the address which is Mumbai Maharashtra right now all set and data updated just a moment this is missing this is update method okay so we have got the user here which will be updated uh, the detail will be taken from some profile editing page update user profile page most probably these updated details will be uh, taken from the profile editing page right so these are the values and here we have done the update command just run this and check it can we see here updated values just a moment let this process complete first okay I'm getting some error so syntax error you have syntax in your query and what is the problem here mysql version for write syntax role 1 okay just a moment I think some comma is missing here just a moment yes one comma is missing here look at this comma is required here comma is required here and here no comma required fine so everything is now fine and update uh, run this okay look at this data updated here and you can check the value initially it is Amit and now I'm going to refresh this okay I'm not getting updates here and what is wrong here I forget to bind here user ID right what is wrong here you have got the user but it has internal value inside the user uh, for the uh, user ID field which is probably null or uh, user and that is there is no record matching for that criteria so we forget to add here user ID so this is user ID 1 or 2 what is the Amit Amit is 2 right so update the value for 2 so this is 2 now it will work in previous case there was no criteria matched for the null ID and that's why no record updated and now it is correct data updated and you can check here now again refresh this yes you have got the value this is Amit Sinha and you have updated the email address look at this Amit dot Sinha and you have updated the address from Mumbai to Mumbai Maharashtra state MS right and the other fields we have not updated here login name password and role and status as it is so this is how you can see the update so this is the way to do the update now let's move on to the next method 
so this is update and now let me talk about the delete so I'm going to delete using the user object and using the user ID so I'm going to use this one first so how to do the delete here string SQL this is delete from delete from user where user ID equals to let's say question mark and now this time I'm going to use here simple JDBC template so there is a provision to access both the uh, templates here JDBC templates and named parameter template so now write this query update and I'm going to use this where argument method and uh, this is the query and this user ID will be bind for first question mark so this question mark will be replaced by the value okay this is fine and delete will be done so let's do the small testing for deletion so I'm going to create here one more class for deletion this is the class do one thing just copy paste this is better idea copy this class and paste refactor and here we have to do the delete okay this is for deletion and uh, I don't require these details I'm going to delete a record so this is user DAO dot delete a record for user ID 2 the user ID 2 is Amit right this is the record I'm going to delete so I'm going to delete this Amit and now just call this data deleted you will get this message in console and now run this okay check this data deleted here and uh, you have got the message now check the record here we have two records right now and now let me refresh this yes there is no record the record is deleted from your DAO right and uh, in fact you can do one more job here for deletion you can call this method you can use this method for deletion and uh, you can just do the call this dot delete what I'm doing actually I'm calling this method which is taking user ID as argument and I'm calling this method here so I have to pass here user ID so user object has user ID so this is get user ID so user ID is picked from the user object and which is given to this method so I'm reusing this method for this delete operation right so in fact this will work you can test by your own so both are working I have tested only this one but in fact this will work without any problem so in this case you have to pass the user object to do the deletion right now this is another case when you have to fetch the record you have to fetch single record because you are going to pass the primary key and that record will be mapped to one object so I required here row mapper implementation so in this video I'm not going to talk about the row mapper implementation this is enough for this discussion in next video session I will talk about the row mapper implementation and complete these select operations so these three select operations I have to uh, uh, these three select operations are using row mapper object so before going to implement these methods I need to talk about the row mapper implementation so thanks for watching and see you in next video